I'm just making this video for an introduction to my channel. The main thing my channel's about is all my testimonies for Jesus. I was demon dis I was demon possessed a few years ago with schizophrenia. It's really hard to explain, but it was like someone was controlling my hands and feet and everything. And I was in hospital and that's the first thing they ask you. Do you feel like someone's overtaking your body? Jesus freed me of that. Now I'm very demon oppressed and everything, but I'm trying to learn to fight back through fasting and praying. He also got me off heroin, methadone, speed, crack, alcohol, and marijuana. Marijuana was the worst. It really made my head go crazy. I thought it was a spiritual thing. I, I believed in the Rastafari's. You know, like Bob Marley, the old reggae singer, they believe in the Bible and Jesus, but they also believe that King Selassie, I, the late Emperor of Ethiopia, was Christ in his kingly character. I was so deceived, and I was also deceived by other false religions, but now I'm just back into trusting in the Bible. Um, he also, so that's schizoaffective disorder, that's schizophrenia and bipolar. I'm still quite bipolar and depressed. But my life is so much better now that I know that God is real. I can't stop smoking smoking tobacco at the moment. I'm having a real trouble with it. And a few pastors and well-meaning friends have told me that it won't send me to hell. But I really feel like it will. It's like an idol God. Instead of turning to Jesus for my peace and comfort, I'm relying on a cigarette. It's not right. And all the money that it wastes, that could be money that goes to the persecuted Christians who are really suffering. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye.